The Haunting of Hill House has become one of the most talked about shows this year. Not only was it really creepy with plenty of scares, but it was full of great characters and top-notch writing. There's a lot going on in this show, with the multiple timelines and anxiety-inducing terror. But because the show does a great job of pulling you in, you likely missed all the tiny details and will feel compelled to watch the show again with all of this in mind. If you haven't seen the show yet, maybe add this video to your watch later list as we're going to spoil the heck out of it. You've been warned! Before we reveal these haunting secrets to you, though, why not click on the subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with everything Screen Rant. The Hidden Ghosts the Haunting of Hill House has become one of the best-reviewed and loved shows on Netflix. It had social media buzzing about all the scares, how well it was written, and how creepy the ghosts in the house actually was. Based on the Shirley Jackson novel of the same name, the show decided to largely tell its own story, and that fresh approach kept fans on the edge of their seats. But some fans started noticing something else going on in the background of some of the shots. It wasn't long until articles and videos were being published, showcasing a pretty interesting and freaky aspect of the show. Throughout the season, there are numerous hidden ghosts hiding in plain sight within the house. The camera never draws attention to them, they're simply chilling in the background, but once you know that they could be hiding in any shot, it builds up a sense of anxiety as you're constantly on your guard, looking for the next ghost sighting. Some of the ghosts are way off in the background and out of focus, but some of them come dangerously close to the Crane family. It doesn't end there, though. One of the writers on Hill House has actually been writing backstories on some of the ghosts on Reddit, making sure that these random background ghosts are not there just for the scares. Nell's Outfits a show or a movie is so much more than actors and special effects. There are so many things that have to work in conjunction to bring the show to the next level, from lighting to camera work to makeup and costumes. Quite often, we can forget about something like costumes, especially when the action takes place in a contemporary setting and the clothing choices are stuff we see literally every day. But Hill House found an extremely unsettling way to make use of its clothing choices. Even if you've never seen the show, you've likely seen a social media status about how terrifying the bent neck lady is. And yeah, she's pretty messed up and seems to haunt young Nell the most. But in a mind blowing plot twist, it's revealed that Nell is the bent neck lady and that young Nell is simply seeing her future dead self. Yikes. Nell eventually commits suicide as an adult and ends up haunting each of her siblings at some point. Costume designer Lynn Faulkner stated Nell would be wearing the same clothes that particular sibling saw her in last, so no two hauntings were quite the same. It's a detail that will have gone unnoticed by many, but once you know it, it really explains how this show is next level stuff. Seven keeps you safe. Throughout the show, we're told one particularly important golden rule, courtesy of young Luke, and that is, counting to seven will keep you safe. If possible, do the count multiple times, but the most important number to ward off any ghost is seven. While counting to seven may have been obvious, there were many instances where the number seven showed up in the show. The most obvious is the whole Crane family is made up of seven members when they move into Hill House. Hugh and Olivia buy Hill House with the idea of gutting and flipping it to sell it at a profit. It's a lengthy project, and thus they have to bring their five kids with them over the summer, the kids being Steve, Theo, Shirley, and the twins Nell and Luke. Something you likely didn't miss is how the number seven connects to Nell and Luke. Back at Hill House, the twins slept in the same room with their beds on opposite sides. The number of steps between each bed? You guessed it, it took seven steps. By the end of the show, a few members of the Crane family might be dead, but families continue to grow, and so when Luke celebrates two years of sobriety, there are seven people at the table again. Why Hugh didn't have a red room? By the end of the first episode, fans were desperately wondering what on earth was on the other side of the red door. Despite having access to the master key, the door remained locked for all those who were trying to get in. Making matters worse was that we can clearly see shadows on the other side of the red room, letting us know that something is on the other side, and in a haunted house, that can't be good. But the show went into full twist mode and showcased that we've actually seen the inside of the Red Room multiple times in the season. Using a framing device, we got to see that various members of the Crane family were unknowingly inside the Red Room, and the room presented itself as something different for each family member, such as Luke's treehouse, despite there being no treehouse on the grounds. Every member had a special room in Hill House, everyone except for Hugh, that is, and Hugh could never find a way to get inside the room, which is exactly what the Red Room wanted. The idea of the Red Room is to keep keep the residents calm and distracted, and the one thing that kept Hugh busy was fixing things. His red room was fixing the mold and the leak, which originated from the red room itself. E.T. Phone Home 
This is a blink and you'll miss it easter egg and you'll only understand if you realize who some of the actors are, specifically who plays younger Hugh in the show. In case you didn't recognize him, young Hugh was played by Henry Thomas, who is perhaps best known for playing Elliot in the 1982 film E.T. Mike Flanagan was very much aware of this fact though and decided to hide a reference to the beloved film hiding in plain sight, and you likely didn't even notice it. You were too busy looking at Luke drawing creepy things. That's right, there's an E.T. easter egg in the first episode when Luke is hiding in the treehouse and drawing morbid scary images of his future dead sister. While we were all focusing on that, we didn't notice what was placed right next to him. In an extremely meta and time fracturing easter egg, Flanagan himself decided to place an E.T. lunchbox right next to Luke as both a hat tip to the fact that Henry Thomas was in that movie and to mess with our perception of time. As how can E.T. and Henry Thomas exist in the timeline of the show? It's honestly a brilliant little easter egg and you should definitely phone home about it. The Porch Lights Hill House is more than just a house. It has a massive grounds as well that the kids like to play on, but they're encouraged not to wander too far away from the house and that when Olivia flashes the porch lights, the kids are expected to return home. Little did they know, or the audience for that matter, that the flashing of the porch lights would have a much more ominous meaning later on in life. After the incident with Olivia in the past, Hill House fell into shambles. Hugh decided to keep the house standing as opposed to tearing it down and thus the wild reclaimed many parts of the house. No one had entered it in decades, but after Nell's husband passed away, her condition worsens, and she's eventually called back home to Hill House, where the house convinces the emotionally compromised Nell to kill herself in the fifth episode, titled The Bent Neck Lady. Before she enters the house, she stares at the ominous mansion from the driveway. The house was initially in darkness, but in the next shot, the house lights glow an ominous reddish orange. But it gets even creepier from there. The house seemingly remembers Olivia's rule and the porch lights flash twice, beckoning Nell to come into the house to meet her end. Twin Thing Illustrated in the Red Room, Luke finds solace and happiness in his treehouse, away from the many dark corners of the house. It's bright and sunny and, most importantly, doesn't appear to be inside the house, which is full of ghosts. It's here that Luke likes to unwind and draw, but his drawings aren't exactly the material you'd want to display on your fridge door. In the first episode, Steve comes to visit Luke in the treehouse and sees some of his drawings. They're kind of disturbing, with a haunting woman screaming with dead eyes. She's also wearing a pink dress, and Steve wonders out loud where Luke gets the inspiration for such creepy drawings. As it turns out, Luke may have been looking into the future. Luke and Nell are twins and have a twin thing where they can feel each other's emotional state. Luke likely felt something bad was coming and the image of the bent neck lady came to mind. When Nell scares Steve at the end of episode 1, her haunting image is exactly the same as Luke's picture. The silent scream and dead eyes are exactly what Luke was drawing. Even spookier is that Nell died in a faded pink dress. No wonder Luke has it rough in his adult years. He was drawing the future death of his sister without knowing it. The Red Room's Early Reveal the Red Room was one of the biggest secrets in the show, and we only got the answer to it in the show's final episode. As previously stated, the room would turn itself into something unique for each family member except for Hugh. But the show actually teased this aspect early on with key camera angles and clever dialogue choices. First, there's clever moments of throwaway dialogue throughout the season that actually brought into doubt the existence of some of the hidden rooms. For instance, when everyone is searching for young Luke in episode 1, Steve asks if they've checked the treehouse, as Steve has been there and knows Luke enjoys hiding there. But but Olivia simply says, very funny mister, as she knows there isn't a treehouse on the grounds. Hugh later states in episode 8 that there is no treehouse. When Steve finds the boudoir in the game mode, Mrs. Dudley is confused at the mention of a game room. As caretaker, she knows the house backwards and forwards and knows there isn't a game room. Finally, when we see the inside of the various red rooms through the season, they're framed with the same exact shot, and we see the rectangular window revealing that yes, this is the same room. We simply didn't realize it in time. Five Stages of Grief this little secret actually started off as a popular internet theory and took off like wildfire. While there are seven members of the Crane family, there are five kids and they have wildly different personalities. They all suffered in their own way from the horrors at Hill House in their youth and all that culminated with the loss of their mother Olivia. That's a lot for kids to take in and each one of them handles the grief through their lives in different ways. In fact, each one of the kids represented one of the five stages of grief. Steve is constantly in denial of anything supernatural having happened in the house and Adam believes that anything spooky is a sign of mental illness. Shirley stands for anger, and she exhibits that emotion quite a bit in episode 6, especially towards Steve and her father. The emotionally unstable Theo represents bargaining. She's always looking for an answer for things that can't be answered. 
Luke has struggled hard with substance abuse in his life and is a clear manifestation of depression, while his twin Nell is acceptance, who acknowledges the horrors of Hill House in the final episode to the rest of the family and is finally okay with everything that happened. The kicker is that director Mike Flanagan confirmed this theory to be true. Hill House is a show that's full of secrets, and we hope we've blown your mind a bit with some of the revelations in this video. What secret do you find the most intriguing? Did you catch any of these on your first viewing? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in your playlist every day. Thanks for watching.